Hello, everyone. Let's wait for a couple of more minutes so that other people can join. And then we will start the session for the remaining topics for special procurement that is RTP, Returnable Transport Packaging, and Stock Transport Order. Sure. Hope you are able to see my screen. Yeah. Okay. Mansi in Madhura, what is the situation of weather at your side? Is it cold? Can you hear me? Mansi in Madhura? Are you able to hear me? Daniel? Yeah, I'm able to hear you. Okay. Okay. So Daniel, in lo in your location, uh, the winter has already started. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. It's it's very cold here actually. I actually got sick too last week, so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm recovering right now, but it's it's really cold here. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. What about you? Uh, how about your location? Yeah. So. I am based in uh, one of the city uh, in in Mumbai. 
Yeah. And here also, not much winter is there usually, but this time we are facing some, you know, winter weather, especially in the night time and in the morning time as well. So I'm not using the ceiling fan. I'm I have I have stopped using ceiling fan from last four or five days. I'm closing my all windows so that I can sleep well. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is that's good, uh, that's good. Yep, yep. And also I have started using, you know, a thick bed sheet so that I can <laughs> cover up myself during the night time. Yeah. You don't experience a lot of cold weather there, right? We do experience a cold, but in the northern region. We are not in the oh. northern region. We are in the western region of uh, India. That is right. the Mumbai location and it is nearby the Indian Ocean as well. So due mm -hmm. to the ocean, we are experiencing, you know, um, less winter in comparison to the northern side of, of India. So nice northern here. part, for example, Delhi, you, you might have heard this name of the city Delhi in India. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Delhi, Agra, and uh, Himachal, Jammu, Jammu, Kashmir. So these are the locations which are in the northern part of India. And these locations experience a lot of cold. In, and in Jammu, Kashmir, there are a lot of snowfalls also happens, not only during the winter, but uh, in normal time as well. So they are much colder in comparison to the western part where we live. Right, right. That makes sense. Yeah, here in New York, like we 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 get everything. Like in the summer, it can be like a hundred degrees. It's so hot out. And then on, in the winter time, it's really, really cold where it's snowing like 13, 14 inches. We get everything. So, yep, yep, yep. So you are located in New York in which in which city? Uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, great, great. I, I've gone to Brooklyn um, uh, when I was there in New York. Nice. And uh, I used to stay in Manhattan. So I have stayed there for, for a month. And my apartment was very near to the Hudson River. Okay, okay. That's nice. Yeah, That's yeah towards the nice. west location. Yeah. So if I walk around uh, just for 15 minutes, I can reach to the river just 15 minutes then uh, okay and from that river if i walk around for 30 minutes i can reach the elysi island for the statue of liberty there is one museum okay. as well yes there is an one museum as well at the entrance of the statue of liberty yeah one yeah, bus one, one bus stop uh, i do remember yeah, i took the bus while coming back to manhattan you know after uh, visiting the statue of liberty but i do remember the brooklyn part because it is a very famous thing there is a new york stock exchange is there right the big bull is standing over there yeah, yeah. that's that, that's around wall street yeah that's correct the actually wall work street. around there yeah yeah i worked a couple of blocks away from there okay great very nice so yeah. uh on one day there was a very good sunshine uh, i mean uh, i was there in the month of uh, the whole november and few days of October. So I took my flight yeah, okay. on 26th and I landed in New York, the John F. Kennedy airport on 28th of October. Oh, so, nice, nice. Yeah. So after 15 or 20 days uh, before my, you know, coming back to India, I decided to go to see the Brooklyn Bridge. So I had walked all over the road from Manhattan, 34th Street till Brooklyn second or fourth street. Okay, that's a long walk. <laughs> it was really a long walk. Uh, I remember two and a half hour of walk one way. But while coming back, I was really not having that that courage to walk again back because it was. Uh, I started walking in the afternoon time, some twelve thirty or one o'clock when there was a good sunshine and I was you know there was no any uh, chilly winds, so I was able to walk properly. In, but while coming back, it was 4.30 or 5 in the evening or maybe I think 5.30 or 6. So I took a train and then come back to the Penn Station. There is a Penn Station in New York, Manhattan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about, yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. So, and then from Penn Station, I 
walked to my apartment, made a tea for me. It was very cold outside. Oh my God, very cold. And some, and if you remember, Daniel, there are some people from South Africa region, uh, right? The, the especially the black people, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, there is the verse. They are a lot, but they are doing some dancing in the evening. They are they have put some speech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's around like Times Square. Yes, you know, yeah. Yep, yep. So uh, on Times Square, I haven't seen anyone dancing over there, but uh, uh, Times Square was very, very near to my apartment, just two or three streets away. But on that day when I, I, I was planning to come back after, uh, you know, looking at the Brooklyn Bridge, there is one... Manhattan Bridge on the left hand side on and on the right hand side there is a Statue of Liberty we can see from the Brooklyn Bridge right so yeah. while coming back I see two or three people are dancing with lots of you know big speakers so I um, uh, stayed uh, just for five or ten minutes just to see their dance and then I took the train and come back to Manhattan so I yeah. Remember yeah. They were, and they were not putting any t-shirt any shirt in such a winter, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> they were so courageous that they are dancing in such a you know evening time. So yeah, <laughs> it's definitely a melting pot here. Um, you know the way you're talking about it right now. Uh, the way you're talking about it when you visited, it's it's different now though. You know, if you come right now, like you'll see like there's like a homeless problem going on too, and oh it's like God. nobody's taking yeah, and nobody's taking care of them. Oh my because God. that's happening in the city, you know, there's like a lot of mental problems happening too. So like if you go like any like block, you'll mm -hmm. definitely see one a homeless person and like, you know, like you can see they're going through like a mental breakdown or something, you know, you'll see them talking to themselves. Yep, yep. Lots of due to some, you know, this. Yeah, it's becoming worse. Things. It's becoming worse here. Like it's not, it's, it doesn't feel, well, for me, it feels safe because I lived here all my life. But, you know, for tourists, like. Yeah, you know, it's a little dangerous. And even the subways, the subways are becoming very dangerous too. They, they exactly, may... exactly. Uh, so Daniel, as you're talking about the, you know, safety of the tourist, uh, uh, actually, when I used to work for my client uh, in the, uh, uh, I mean, we were leaving our, our apartment at nine o'clock and within 20 days, I used to um, uh, reach to my client. It was at uh, third or second avenue. Okay. So, but while coming back, uh, I, I mean, both the ways I was having my laptop with me, it is hanging on my shoulders and, you know, one water bottle. But in the evening time, we we were coming little early uh, while coming back because um, uh, there was one friend. So we both are walking together from 2nd Avenue till 34th Avenue where I used to stay. But we usually <clears throat> do not walk, do not prefer to walk in the dark time when we were having the, our laptop as well. Because we have given some guidelines that these black peoples, they can do some robbery kind of a thing in the evening and dark time. Right? right. Yeah, it's not It's not just black people. It's, you know, it's like, ooh, it's just like, yeah, it could be anybody. It could be a white person, Asian person. But you could oh. see like the way they dress, the way they walk. Huh. It's, a, it's a lot of people, you know, but yeah. 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 So that's yeah. why we used to leave office early at four o'clock because at 4.30 in New York, it's getting it start it started getting dark so by five o'clock we are we are coming back and all the people on the from the office as well they used to leave quite early by four o'clock or uh, i mean little early so that they can reach home yep. yeah okay, okay yeah, yeah you know when you when you live here like you get a sixth sense of like how to maneuver through and you know just like in india you you, you might know what's the safe places and everything and how to maneuver through same thing here exactly yes 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 I completely agree with you. Yep. Great. Okay. Let us start the session. I don't know why some, some people haven't joined, but uh, we are starting the session. And uh, so today we will going to learn more about the packaging part, the re returnable transport packaging. So this particular scenario is used under a, un under a situation that whenever we are getting some material packaging with some other packaging material, then we have to return that packaging material back to the vendor. But we do manage that packaging material into our inventory as well. And this packaging material doesn't belong to us. That means doesn't belong to the buyer, doesn't belong to the purchaser, doesn't belong to the company who is 
buying that raw material, packaging with some packaging material. So how we will do, going to do this in SAP, we will going to just learn about it. So let us quickly go to a uh, material master and we're going to create a new material code, uh, a raw material. Let us quickly uh, go for, uh, 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 this is industry sector, just a moment. Let's go for um, pharmaceuticals. Okay, pharmaceuticals is a medicine we are we are uh, going to buy, and this is let's assume that it is it is a raw material. Okay, we have created raw material. So many people have created raw material. Oh my God! Um, let's go with this one. No, not this one. We have to select ROH. ROH. Yeah. Last time we have created the ROH. Let's go with this one. Select views. Basic data. Purchasing. General plant and accounting. Let's go to organization level. And we are creating just a simple material master, okay? Or even we can create, we, we can, you know, go ahead with the actual material as well. I mean, which is available, but I'm just, I just want to show you this uh, scenario just from scratch. Mansi and Madhura, are you able to hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So this is medicine. Medicine. Crossing. Okay. This is a medicine crossing and it will be each. We can give you know any material group. Let's go to purchasing and we will select 002. Valuation class, let's go with 3000. And let's give the standard price as. So this particular uh, standard price uh, of one tablet is two USD. Okay, two USD. So we are done with this material. This is the raw material. Okay, so we have this material with us, the raw material which we were going to procure. Okay, now we will going to create one more material for packaging. We're going to create one more material for packaging. So MM01 and let's go with pharmaceutical. But in this case, we will going to select LEIH. Can you see this returnable packaging? This material, hit enter. Yeah. So this will be the material. Uh, it says internal number assignment is not possible. Okay, cool. We will going to give our own. So can you see for this LEIH, it says internal number assignment is not possible for the material type. Reason being for this material, if you remember, we have uh, learned about the transaction code MMNR with which we are setting up the number inch interval and also we were 
setting the external and the internal number range. So for this particular material, the external number range is set. And what do we understand by external number? That means during creation of the material master data, we have to give the material number from our end. Not it will system will not going to assign a number range. What had happened in this case? In this case, the system has assigned the number range, right? So we will going to uh, um, or we do like this P one seven one seven. This is our packaging material P one seven. Okay. Basic data, general plant, accounting, and hit enter. So we are maintaining the packaging material in our in um, SAP system, the material master data P17. P stands for packaging. Okay. Now uh, description. This is packaging box. Cruise in 500 mg. And this box will also be you know, going to have a similar unit of measure as each. And one box contains 50 such medicines, one box is having 50 medicines okay so let us hit enter the, the evaluation class is already assigned as 3050 and the cost of one box is seven us dollars or, or let me increase the price a little bit more it is 20 us dollars for one box so we are done with the creation of the packaging material as well p17 is created with me guys everyone able to understand what we are doing yes right so this particular material i have just created for your information but there is no need to create this material i have just created so that i can create one new material in in connection with the packaging material okay you can use any raw material and the requirement will be to create a packaging material type what we did today so if we display this packaging material, if, if I click on this I icon information, here you can see that the material code is P17, description is packaging box, crossing 500 mg. This is my user ID who had created. This is the date. And the material type is LEIH, returnable packaging. Okay. Now we will going to create an info record ME11 for the crossing material, crossing. So crossing material is this one. Give the material. Vendor, we will choose this one. Purchase organization 1710. And this is a 1710 and thus the category will be standard. We will directly jump on to the purchase or data one and we'll enter the price of this medicine. So the, the price of the medicine we have entered as two, uh, let's give it as two, two euro and uh, some 500 and 100 each. Keep on hit enter and we will going to save this. Okay. Now we will going to create a purchase order. <clears throat> for this material, give all the required input parameters, 002, 31, and give the plant. And I'm not giving any net price. System will going to fetch it from the info record.
Okay, can you see two euro? Okay, it is showing that this uh, text is not maintained in German language. Let's come out of this transaction. Come back, select change from the top menu, select immediately. And how you, you will going to change, uh, add one more language. Just go to basic data one, hit enter and click on the additional data. So it is DE, it says the text is not maintained in German language. So we can do like this, or we can even, you know, just hold on, just select this, go to Google Chrome and Google Translate. Google Translate and we will going to translate our text into German language. German, okay, medicine, medicine, crossing 500 MG. So we're going to maintain this one. And then save it. We are done with the text maintain. Again, going to 21N, ME21N, and we are creating the purchase order to purchase these medicines for a pharmacy. Enter the quantity. So, Let's assume that uh, in this purchase order, that one box is containing 50 pieces. So we need uh, 10 pieces, 10 pieces, okay? 10 pieces, so one is 50, uh, sorry, uh, not 10, hold on, hold on. One is 50, so we're going to have purchase 500 tablets and one box contains 50 such tablets. So how many such boxes we will going to receive along with the this material? 10. 10, 10. One box is containing 50. Getting the point guys? Or unable to understand? Yeah, so far I'm understanding it, but how does the uh, the packaging come into play? That's uh, what I'm just looking for. I, 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 I'm telling you that this will going to be, uh, you know, clear to you when we will be posting the good receipt for this, uh, for these 500 tablets. You will come to know that yeah, just immediately after okay. this transaction, right? But uh, just for uh, a reminder, we can just assume that we are purchasing 500 such tablets and one box is containing 50 tablets. So there will be 10 boxes we will going to receive along with packaging. Got the point, uh, Daniel? Yes. Right? One box is 50. And 500 box, we will need such 10 boxes. 10 into 50, 500 tablets. So we are done with the purchase uh, order. And what we are going to do, we are going to select this and let us go to the movie. Oh, sorry, uh, Migo. Let us go to the Migo transition, MIGO. MIGO. Hit enter. And you can see 500 tablets are there. Hope. Everyone is able to understand what we are doing right now. Abhishek, are you able to understand the RTP process? Let us hit on check. Okay, to give some. This, uh, reference. 2253 some reference we have to enter over here okay now this is the point at which we are doing the good receipt for these 500 pieces 
for those medicines with reference to this purchase order okay now we have to enter the details of details of those boxes as well because those boxes will also going to come in our inventory so can you see this tiny icon transport equip, equip, equipment can you see this yeah right you have to hit on this i'm going to hit on this and system will going to give you uh, material details to enter the information with reference to this transport equipment so what we are going to do we have the material as p17 remember that packaging yeah. box great now quantity quantity is 10 boxes because one box is containing 50 such tablets so 10 into 50 it will be 500 right okay you can see 10 only 10 we have to enter okay 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 it is uh, coming with a comma okay now enter the location and very important thing to understand in this case the movement type is will be 501 it is stands for receipt to rtp that means we are receiving returnable packaging material into our inventory but we do not own this material this material 10 10 boxes is still owned by vendor and we have to return them after we receive the medicine we will going to remove all those medicines from those boxes and we will going to return them uh back to the vendor understanding the this situation friends no stock posting possible for this material oh okay guys so there is one error anyone knows the solution uh do we need to change the valuation to quantity and uh value in which transaction oh man is material type oms2 yes very good perfect let's quickly go to the material type and we have to check leih okay oms2 because whenever such error appears it says the quantity is not postable correct you you cannot post a quantity so this is a very big control over here in this transaction oms2 for each and every material type so i'm hitting on position and l e i h enter select the line go to quantity and value updating select the line go to quantity and value updating for your particular valuation plant so we are doing all these purchases in our 1710 can you see this and there is no any tick right select the field yeah. both the both these uh, fields and can you see this leih is is active in 2021 in this plant but not in 1710 so we have to do this okay but there is no need to do the value updation because we do not want to uh, update uh, anything with reference to the value because we are not purchasing this uh, packaging material this is only for you know just to give you is to deliver the material in packaging and after the gr we have to return this back to the supplier with me everyone so recently we have resolved this uh, i mean this is the error we have resolved now again coming to the purchase order hit on item okay and then okay enter the issue location as well now hit on this icon transport equipment okay click on it 1710 give the store location movement type will be 501 please always remind that and this is the packaging material we will be using quantity is 10 boxes 10 boxes 501 and partner the same vendor which is giving you this material perfect so now i am hitting on this one number one the raw material which we will going to purchase 
So this item will going to come into our inventory. So that's why the moment type 101 is appearing. But now I'm hitting on this packaging box. It will going to come temporarily with the moment type 501 in your inventory. Understanding the concept, everyone? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm understanding it. Um, it definitely okay. asks everybody else. So. Okay, any questions so far with this particular process? No. Yeah, so the movement type, so the movement type 501, it just automatically generates uh, when we click the reference and the yeah. actions. Yes, yes. Yeah, the transportation equipment. Exactly. The moment you hit on this, system automatically give you the movement type 501. Let me drop down this. Let me drop down this and then you can properly read the description as well, which will be absolutely similar what is appearing, RTP. So 501. Can you see, can you read, read the document, uh, sorry, description for the whole audience, Daniel? Yeah, it says receipt without purchase order into unrestricted RTP. Yes. And what, what do we mean by without? That means we, we haven't entered anything in purchase order for this packaging material, do we? No. Yes, perfect. That means the purchase order was raised only and only to purchase the medicine, not for uh, this packaging material. The packaging material was nowhere mentioned. But during the good receipt process, we have to update this uh, update this uh, um, packaging material okay into our good receipt document okay enter delivery note for the event okay we have to enter the delivery note here in check so both the items are showing the green signal. That means everything is fine. And let us post the document. Document is posted. And let us quickly come to the Purchase order. Refresh it. Here, here you can see the good receipt for medicine, 500 pieces. Okay. Now let us check our inventory stock as well. MMBE for this medicine material. Execute this and what will be the stock quantity 500 sorry 500 yes perfect now let us quickly change this material and so let me know what i'm going to do now are you going to check for the packaging material the packaging material and what is the code for it i think it was p17 yeah very good. So after inputting the material, again, hit on this box, new selection, the small orange and the white box, click on it and system will going to give you the details of 10 such boxes. Can you see? RT packaging under story location. So there is one more, one more hierarchy has come down, which is showing that 10 pieces are available in RT packaging. What's the point, everyone? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Now, we, what we will going to do, the next and the last process is for this is, we will going to return this material, this uh, packaging material back to the supplier. What we will going to do? We will going to select good receipt and we're going to select other, okay? And 
the moment type will be 502 just opposite of what we used to take the material in the receipt of warehouse in receipt without purchase order reversal can you see this this one yeah we, we will be using this one rtp reversal 502m okay hit enter the 502 material is p17 quantity will be 10 where 1710 and check everything is everything is fine and if you can see material movement is appearing as 502m that is reversal to receipt of rtp and quantity we have entered 10 let us post this document everything is okay let us post it document is posted it is reversed and we're going to refresh this screen and you will come to know that this particular RT packaging stock has been gone from the unrestricted stock. It is returned to the supplier. With me, everyone? Any doubt so far? No. Okay. Refresh. So this is gone, P17, okay? Any doubt so far in this? So first we have to input it into our system and then uh, with the movement type 501, and then to return it back, we have to use uh, movement type 502. Yes, yes. Gotcha. And let me just mention the moment type here as well. Reggie, by the end of the class, can you please share this uh, document type with us? Or this document with us? <clears throat> sure, sure. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now we will going to learn about stock transport orders. Okay. So there are two types of stock transport orders are there. So first of all, very important to understand in this stock transport order, this is material transfer orders. Okay. between plant to plant and 
between plant to plant. Belonging to same company codes or different company code. Okay. So there are two types of test of transport orders. One is intercompany orders, and another one is intra transport order. So first we will understand the scenario between the plant belonging to the same company okay and so let's take a take a break of 5 to 10 minutes and then we will come back okay all right
Hello everyone, I am back. Able to hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So today uh, for this particular process of stock transport orders, we will going to learn about the intercompany stock transport orders and the intra-company stock transport order. Okay. What does they mean? <clears throat> Whenever there is a need to transfer the material from one plant to another plant, there may be a situation that those two plants receiving and supplying may, may belong to a same company code or they may belong to a different company codes. Okay. In case of intercompany, we can transfer the stock from one plant to another plant where the plants belonging to different company codes. So in this case, this one, the plants are belonging to two different different company codes, okay? And in this scenario, the document type will be used as NB, okay? The document type will be used as NB. And the, the transaction code will be the same, that is ME21N. Okay. And in case of intra company, we can transfer the stock from one plant to another plant where the plant belongs to the same companies under one company code. Intra company. Let me just copy this. Control C, and there will be little changes in this. Intra company plants are belonging to same company codes. The document type will be used as UB. Okay. And Just a moment, let me go to the PO screen. The item category will be used as U, that is stock transfer. Just a moment. will be using UB, stock transport, transport order. And the moment we use this uh, document type UB, when we are transferring the material from one plant to another plant, what will going to happen? The system will automatically give you the item category as U. And just a moment, there is, I do have one document as well. The moment uh, valuation account assignment dispute valuation dispute. It's not transport order this moment. Stock transport order. Uh, 
i will search the document and then will provide you okay so what we will going to do uh, we will going to understand this particular process of configuration that how the stock transfer happens okay so let's quickly go to spro scp reference img materials management purchasing purchase order and under purchase order there are settings for stock transport order set up stock transport order okay so it is very important that we have to define the shipping data for plant as well this is very important so for example there is a if we want to transfer the material from one plant to another plant then both the plants should have the shipping data information maintained in a, in it okay so let us quickly check for these two plants 1710 and 1720 let us go to inside so can you see this sales organization distribution channel and division internal billing all this information is maintained and also the customer number is maintained customer number is maintained in the plant 1710 okay similarly let us check the data for 1720 we have the customer master maintained in the 1720 now we will going to check that for which company code these two plants are belonging so there is a transaction code ox18 O X one eight if the shipping details are not updated for plant, is it our responsibility to maintain or some other module people have to maintain? Actually, this particular uh, entry is to be maintained by SD people, the sales and distribution people, and they will going to give us uh, the details of the customer and then we will going to maintain this. So the maintaining part is our job, but the information for the customer master data, which is created by the sales and distribution module team, the SD consultant, they will going to give us. Okay, understand. Right, okay. So let us go to plant and we'll hit on 1710. So 1710 and we can in insert one more line for plant and 17, 20, and then click on choose. Oh, it says fill out the requirement entries. Okay. It is asking this one. And so we want to find the company code, which is assigned to both these plants. That is 17, 20 and 17, 10 then hit on choose no entries found mm, okay yeah okay i don't know why it is uh, giving the wrong information the, the entry is there can you see everyone both these plants 1710 and 1720 are assigned to this company code 1710 getting the point guys yes right that means we can perform the intra intra company transfer scenario within these plants because what does this intra company transport order says plants are belonging to the same company code and we can transfer the material from one plant to another plant and in this case there will be no any billing will going to happen because anyhow the plant is lying within the same company code with whatever plant it, it may lie getting the point guys so let's come on to the configuration. Let us close this screen. Close. Let us close this as well. 1710 is our company code. Let us come to SAP. So these were the 
very important thing to understand shipping data okay because if you are transferring the material from one plant to another plant this receiving plant will going to act as a customer for this plant so that is why the customer details is mentioned over here but in case of intra company we will not going i mean this will going to help us to create the outbound delivery but in case of billing this customer will going to help us but the billing will going to happen in case of inter company inter company is a scenario wherein the material is belonging to i mean the plant belonging to two different company codes and billing will be posted by the receiving plant because receiving plant is receiving the material and receiving plant will have to pay for the supplying plant okay friends so let us come back this configuration done for the shipping data define checking rule so this is more over for the sd rule they are mentioning that which particular uh, delivery is to be created for which scenario so we need not to do anything for this this is already you know properly maintained in this particular uh, scenario so this is the daily requirement b delivery is you know created for both the cases for intra company or for and for intra company so we will not going to touch this particular configuration the rules and then configure delivery type and availability check procedure by plant so delivery type we will be creating delivery for both the cases for bo for this this cases this, this particular case wherein the material has to be transferred between the plants belonging to different company codes and also for this case wherein the material will be transferred from plant to plant belonging to the same company code so outbound delivery will be there okay here you can see let us check our plant uh, if you can see this is the supplying plant let us check for our plant uh, 1710 what they have mentioned over here Seventeen, seventeen. They haven't mentioned anything over here. Okay, no problem. Okay, now assign document type, one-step procedure, and under delivery tolerance. This is also very, very important configuration. Assign document type, one-step procedure. So they haven't done anything here. But you can do one thing that whenever you point want to transfer the material with one-step procedure. okay what will going to happen you have to maintain the entries for example let's give the this material uh, this plant as 1710 supplying plant and this is the receiving plant 1720 and this is for ub transport order stock transport order the internal transport okay and vice versa as well because uh, 1720 can also supply to 1710 and enter ub there is one important configuration it's it, it says one step that means the moment you post the goods issue from the supplying plant system will going to automatically post the good receipt into the receiving plant this will going to happen with reference to this particular transaction one step let us first save this uh, transaction and i'm going to you know select this field and read the documentation for you it says if you set the indicator for one step procedure the good receipt is posted in the receiving plant at the same time as the good issue is posted in the issuing plant do you understand this this concept guys both the process will going to happen at the same time goods issue and good receipt getting the point hello 
वन स्टेप ट्रांसफर एंड टू स्टेप ट्रांसफर पर पार्ट ऑफ ट्रांसफर ट्रांसफर पोस्टिंग राइट यस एक्चुअली if you remember we have explored this process during one of the scenario for stock transfers stock transfer is alag uh, is different and stock transport order is a different thing wherein we are creating purchase orders to transfer the materials and the billing document will going to happen but that particular scenario was different wherein we are transferring the material without creation of the purchase order right that was with the transaction migo if you remember mansi right yes right and that particular scenario what we have explored earlier in under inventory management um, uh, topic that was also containing the step 1 transfer and step 2 transfers correct okay okay so let us do this uh, one step procedure automatically uh, and let us save this configuration and we will going to transfer the material uh, we will going to explore one one procedure today for transferring the material from 1710 to 1720 okay okay let us come over here and quickly create a purchase order M E twenty one N, but we have to choose one material in such a way that it should be extended to both the plants. Are you getting me? Right. So let us find quickly one material. Just a moment. The material is very important. M M six zero. M M six zero and uh, or let's do one thing. we have this material very good we have this material uh, let's do one thing today we have created one material for uh, crossing correct we will going to uh, expand this material to what was that material one one how many times zero we are having purchase order with this yes yes this material it is very important that the material should be well extended to both the plants before we transfer them across each other understanding concept yes right so this material we have already created for 1710 but now we are extending it to 1720 hope everyone is understanding what we are trying to do now we are going to input 1720 and also One seven two A. Can you see the message? What it says, Mansi? Material already exists and will be extended. To which plant it will be extended? Seventy twenty. Very good. Perfect. Now let us save this. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Just a moment. We haven't. Just a moment. Basic data is there. Purchasing, general plant accounting, other views were you know gone, gone. Those views were missed. So the purchasing group will be different for seventeen twenty. Let's take hundred. Hit enter. so we are done with the extension okay 
now we will going to create a stock transport order we will going to select ub ub the moment we select ub this vendor field going to get changed as supplying plant and in case of item category it will be u a stock transport order just watch the screen changes it is supplying plant and this is the receiving plant we'll going to receive it in, in 1720 and 1710 will be our supplying plant the material will be this one material is not subject to inventory management in 1720 please check your input see it's seeing some error enter a different plant if possible a different plant or maintain a missing view in the material master record there is no data for oh plant storage location view oh okay 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 let's come out of it there is some issue in the material master data we have to resolve resolve it so mm01 hit enter select basic data Seventeen twenty one seven two eight. Okay, yeah, this is the plant stock. I think so. Okay, okay. This this we have it maintained. Okay, seventeen twenty seven two eight. One plant stock. Okay, plant stock and org level and store location stock. Yeah, it is okay. Just fine. Now let us save it. M E twenty one. So that's why we have to select stock transport order U B. Supplying plant will be seventeen ten. Receiving will be seventeen twenty. Again, same inventory management in plant seventeen twenty. What is the material type for this material? It is DKM raw material. D R O H D K M. Okay, I think there is no any tick here, right? That's why it is showing like this. I think so. So let us flag this field. Let 
let us check it again 1720 okay we are good then the 21n no master records for supplier 1710 okay so okay just a moment uh, quantity uh because you have it as a per standard purchase order and it says vendor and then you put 1710 is it because of that Yeah, just a moment. Uh, yes, you are asking something, uh, Daniel. Yep. Oh no, I was saying that the reason why you were getting it was because uh, the purchase it was a purchase order and it said vendor and it was seventeen ten. So when you were hitting enter, it was saying that message. Yeah, actually, uh, that error was different. Now I have chosen the UB stock transport order. So yeah okay that, that error will not going to come actually it was a, it, it it was saying that uh, no master record for 1710 so it was searching for 1710 vendor master data okay so that's why so material the plant is there the plant is there and it says not possible to determine shipping data for material okay okay got it okay <clears throat> yes so just a moment we have to ex um, extend our material for the sales organization as well that we have you know missed so mm01 this sales general data for both of them we have to maintain 1710 and the to be 1710 it will be like this perfect let us maintain the tax no tax so you want to maintain all 000 here just a moment guys let me switch on the charger So maintain. Uh, we have maintained the sales organization in the all the corporates item category group. Okay, we can check this. Make to order. This we have done for seventeen ten. Similarly, we will going to maintain the sales organization view for seventeen twenty as well. Just a moment, guys.
yeah hello everyone i am back so let us maintain the sales view for 1720 as well 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 2001 2002 2003 2004 2005 2006 2007 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 
सेवेंटीन टेन टू सेवेंटीन ट्वेंटी ओके सो एवरीथिंग इज सेट ओवर हेयर एंड लेट एस क्विकली चेक देर आर सम इंफॉर्मेशन इज मेंटेन फ्रॉम द सेल्स परस्पेक्टिव सो इफ यू सी दीज पर्टिकुलर इंफॉर्मेशन इफ यू कैन सी अबाउट लोडिंग ग्रुप ट्रांसपोर्ट ग्रुप सेल्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द प्लांट हु इज सप्लाइंग ओके सो लेट एस क्विकली गो टू दिस मटेरियल मास्टर डेटा एंड यू विल सी ऑल दोज डिटेल्स appearing over here in the sales organization okay let us give this as 1710 and this is this is 10 and hit enter and here you can see all the details are there the material groups yeah the delivering plant 1720 okay got it Yep, these are couple of things you know which we which were not maintained in in our material master. So we can leverage this particular material for our practice. And in sales organization two, if we can see, the item category is N O R M normal. And for sales general plant, the loading group, the transport group zero zero one, this is maintained. And due to this reason. this particular shipping data uh, we are able to see in the purchase order okay so we will going to utilize this particular material for our practice today and let us check for 1710 as well how it looks so is 1710 this is the sales general data loading group trading transport group it is all maintained Sales organization two, item category is N O R M. Sales organization one, yes. it is showing the delivery plant is seventeen twenty. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Uh, we're going to open up this purchase order as it is for our reference, and we're going to check the stock of this material. What we stock we have? So M E sorry M M B E. For this TG one two, oh sorry, MMB TG one two, okay. Remove the plant. If you can see, in seventeen ten we have twenty thousand nine hundred thirty seven pieces available, and in seventeen twenty we have only fifty pieces. So we are going to transfer one thousand pieces from seventeen ten to seventeen twenty. Okay, friends. We are creating the purchase order, the stock transport purchase order for TG one two. Okay. okay and this will going to work because in our particular material we haven't maintained the sales organization organization views properly so you can practice this by taking the reference of tg12 tg12 is perfectly maintained stock transport order we let's select it Tg one two. Seventeen ten. Racing plant will be seventeen twenty. The server is running little slow. 
1720 enter and you will going to see one shipping tab over here right now it is not, not appearing but it is yeah, it is now appearing over here so you can see all these details are appearing loading group transport group the customer which is assigned with 1720 sales organization 1710 and let's give the quantity as 1000 piece 1000 will be supplied by this plant to the plant 20 okay everything is fine delivery date is okay and store location will be 17172a enter and let us check okay let us save this stock transport order it is saved with the number 864 in the last now the what will be the next process we will going to create an outbound delivery to goods issue this thousand pieces okay so there is a there is a transaction vl10b 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 and we will going to create a purchase uh, create an outbound delivery supplying plant is 1710 your date is fine and let us execute it okay select this line and click on background this outbound delivery will going to remove the, those 1000 item from your supplying plant and what is the supplying plant in this case daniel do you remember what is the supplying plant for our purchase order it's something sign yes this is the supplying plant and yeah. let us let us refresh this purchase order and you will come to know come to you you will be able to see the outbound delivery details in the item level under purchase order st tab okay so let us refresh this under purchase order st okay this is the delivery note correct yeah and one more thing i would like to share from the configuration perspective if you remember uh, scheduling agreement uh, we have to go to the purchase order and then a stock transport order we have to open yes yeah, set up for a stock transport order this was the configuration i was talking about where in we have checked one step procedure so what will going to happen in this case the moment we withdraw those 100 pieces those 1000 pieces from 1710 system will also going to post them post the gr automatically in 1720 reason being this checkbox is is there if you remove this checkbox system will not going to post the automatic gr in 1720 you have to do this manually getting the getting the point guys yeah yeah right so let us come back come back and go to the transaction vl 02n it is a change transaction for that outbound delivery this outbound delivery 8 3 times 0 2111 which you can see over here as well which is updated in the purchase order okay we are going inside of the outbound delivery and go to the picking pick the quantity type as 1000 okay item overview actual gi date put today's date 23rd enter and hit on post code issue let us check everything is fine here yep 1000 1000 okay loading in loading we need, need not to enter anything shipment is fine and goods movement data so it will show you that uh, not yet started okay 
So I'm hitting on post good issue. So can you see replenishment delivery has been saved. And let us come to the purchase order and system will going to post 101 as well in this plant 1720. Okay, just a moment. Let us display this once again, uh, outbound delivery. Or maybe the table might be taking some time. Uh, just a moment. Let's go to post moment data. It's oh, it says not yet started. Why? 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 There is a follow on documents. Let's check the documents for this on the outbound delivery. So it says, okay, picking request completed. Confirmation of service is completed. Okay. Maybe the system might be taking some time to refresh this. Let's do this. Let's go once again inside. Oh yeah, can you see it? Now it is saying completed, correct? Sometimes yeah. what happens, system takes the time to update the table. Similarly, now our purchase order history will also going to get updated. That was not happening when we have checked, checked it just two or three minutes before. Okay, now let us check it again. You will see the 101 movement over here. Oh my God, why it is not appearing? It might be taking some more time. Hold on, let's go to again the document flow. Information of service. It might be, it is taking some more time, I think so. Let us wait. Let's go again once again. A status overview. POD data, POD, what is POD data? Proof of delivery status, okay. Goods movement. It says it is done. It is completed. And the movement type in this case, it will be for this one step process. Shipment. I don't know why the moment type is not appearing. It should be here only. It's status overview. Yeah, can you see the moment type 647 for one step? So this is the moment type which is asked in interview that if the material is getting transferred with one step procedure for the scenario plant to plant transfers for the scenario plant to plant transfers and both these plants belonging to the same company code the moment type will be triggered as 647 but if there is no any tick in the one step configuration then you have to manually post the gr and in such a situation the moment type will be triggered as 641. Okay, friends. Yeah. Right. So please be mindful of that. These two very important moment types. 641 for two-step process, 647 for one step process. Okay. So let us once again go to our purchase order and Select here. Oh, it is still not showing any GR document. But hold on. Let us check our stock overview as well. Yes. Let us refresh. And this 20,937 will be reduced by 19,937. Okay. Let us refresh it.
there is some issue there is no any reduction in the stock as well hold on let me quickly go to the delivery change change overview course movement dot data overall course movement statuses status overview fully picked oh ho ho okay 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 but why it is showing like this this is okay this is this is gross weight okay and this is 10 picking is 1000 1000 not sure what had happened for this delivery because the stock is also not getting reduced something had happened let us refresh once again. It is not showing anything. Let's do one thing. Let us delete our delivery. Delete this delivery. Change. Delete. Delete. Item cannot be deleted. Oh, goods issue, goods issue has already posted for delivery. POD status. Actually, there is something, some issues happening with this POD status, proof of delivery status. Not sure why it is not posting the stock. Proof of delivery. It says it says not yet processed. Not yet processed. But the good issue is done. Let's check on to, there are some incompletion log as well in this del delivery. Edit incompleteness. Let us check this. It's if we are missing something. So we are not missing anything in this delivery. It is absolutely fine. There is some issue from the system end. Uh, I think so. That's why it is not completing the delivery but the concept is uh, what i would like to share with you all that the moment this delivery is posted as successfully the system will going to or we can check from check in in this purchase order as well just a moment uh, uh, delivery address conf confirmation This purchase order was created on 20th of uh, November. Okay, some other user. Let us try to post the delivery for this one, 825. In the same transaction, let's see what happens. V L ten B purchase order 
825 and 1710 and this purchase order which we have got from the list is having 50 pieces of the quantity okay 50 pieces let us execute this Oh, it is uh, this purchase order is having some some different delivery. What is the delivery? Oh, fifteenth of October. Oh, they have given a. Let us give the delivery for today's date twenty third. Save it. Let us check now. Okay, perfect. Select this, create in the background. <coughs> the 25 pieces. <coughs> okay, we have we have the delivery with us. And this purchase order will be updated with the delivery. Okay, I'm refreshing it. So we have the delivery with us 112. Let's directly go inside from here in the delivery. Hopefully we are in change mode, so it will not going to just a moment. We are opting for display mode now. Display change. Let's go to picking. Just fifty. Loading. Shipment. Status overview. Everything is fine. The goods moment is appearing as GMS in goods moment is A, and picking status is done. We are we are done with the picking part. We have just now entered the quantity in picking that is 50 pieces okay now let's hit on post good issue it says replacement delivery has been saved let's close out some screens let us refresh this this purchase order now Let's see what happens. No, there is some issue. I think uh, because it is posting the goods issue, but uh, not posting the GR in this situation. Uh, just a moment. Uh, let us check the stock as well. The fifty pieces should have reduced. Let us check. Do we need to configure one step for uh, a receiving plant as well or a blank? Sufficient. One step, just a moment. Let, let me quickly go once again. If you can see, can you see this? Supplying plant is 1710 and 1720 is receiving plant. And this is a one step for this, this particular scenario. Right? And uh, so we don't need to uh, configure it for uh, 1720, right? Sorry, can you please repeat that? Hello. Uh, seventy ten to seventy twenty is one step, but seventy twenty to seventy ten is not there. So, uh, yes, it yes. Better, right? We are not doing the scenario for for seventeen twenty to seventeen ten. We are doing the scenario from seventeen ten to seventeen twenty. This is yes, a scenario. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, so. This is a one step process, but not sure why it is not happening. But what you can understand from here, uh, everyone, that the moment the good receipt is uh, goods issue is posted, system will going to post the automatic GR as well. And your purchase order history will be updated with the moment type 101 as well. Okay. Because there is some issue is happening that the delivery is not getting posted properly. Although there is no any 
problem with the delivery, but might be some background systems. There might be some integration which is not working at the moment. That could be the reason. But if everything is fine, then what happens? And uh, above this delivery node, there is one line is also getting updated, which says that movement type 101 is posted in the receiving plant 1720. Yeah, that's it. This is for the plant to plant transfer belonging to the same company code. Okay. And the another scenario is wherein we will be using the intercompany transport transport orders. Okay. Intercompany transport orders wherein both the plants will belong to will belong to different company codes. Okay. And herein, this delivery type availability check, this can be configured for those plants which are belonging to different company codes. And for those particular transfers, what happens that, just a moment, there is one setting over here. Define checking rule. Supplying plant. So, whosoever is the supplying plant which is belonging to a different different company code, that should be assigned with the NLCC delivery type. That is replenishment delivery cross company. This is the situation when we will be transferring the material from one plant to another plant, and both these plants belonging to different company code. That is intercompany transfer. So. NLCC should be assigned to that particular supplying plant, this one, NLCC, okay? And NL will be for those scenarios in which the plant is belonging to, I mean, both the plants are belonging to same company code. For example, let me show you this scenario, this particular scenario, which we have just now learned for two plants belonging to same company code. If you can go to shipping data and you will come to come to know that this is a NL. That means it is just a replenishment delivery between two plants belonging to same company code. But it will be NLCC when the transfer will going to happen between two plants belonging to two different, different company codes. And in that situation, you will not be choosing a stock transport order. You will be choosing just simple NB. This one, uh, just where is NB? This one. So for stock transport orders, for different company codes, you will be choosing NB and the delivery type will be NLCC. So if you go to this configuration, uh, we can select any of the plant, which is a different plant. Let's say for R003, this is, let's say this is a supplying plant and we can select NLCC to perform the to perform the intercompany transfer the cross company the cross company code transfer and we can you know save it and this is how the stock transport procedure happens and for this particular scenario of cross company you can try to do this from your side okay take a material take two different plants belonging to two different company codes okay and extend that material to both the plants and also to the store location as well and then create a intercompany stock transport order which is right now appearing on your screen with the with the uh, transaction me21n and with the document type nb and delivery type will be Will be NLCC. Okay. So please try to do this task. So any questions so far in this particular 
session today. No, nothing for me. Okay. Okay, great. So we are wrapping up the session. I will send you this uh, this uh, this note. Just a moment. Let me quickly take the attendance as well. Just a moment. And on Friday, uh, let me know, guys, uh, if you are fine with the practice session. Yeah, that's fine for me. Okay. So we'll do the practice session. And all the audience, please uh, come prepare. Uh, have some queries, we will discuss for the queries as well. So we are done with this and uh, just a moment. Let me just quickly share the syllabus as well with you. We are done with uh, all the scenarios, consignment, pipeline, stock transport order, subcontracting, RTP, service procurement, import, third party, right? And we have covered this stock transport order in this uh, section only, right? So they have separately mentioned, but this is the same thing which we have covered in the topic number nine, the module number nine, okay? and. On Friday, we will going to have a practice session. And after that, on Monday, we'll going to cover up the split valuation that how we can maintain two different prices for the same material under different, different uh, kind of a categorization. And that category could be, you know, quality, uh, some, some good quality is having $3 and some inferior quality of that same material could be $2.5, right? If there are some scratches on a particular material, then we are selling it at some low price. And if the material is having a very good finish, then we are selling the material as a A grade quality and with the with, with the pricing of $3. So we will going to learn more about different types of you know valuation categories and how we can split up the prices of a material with different prices based on different categories as i shared categories of quality a quality b quality c so a is the best quality b is little inferior c is little more inferior and that's how we can maintain different prices and similarly these prices can be maintained uh, in a different scenario as well for example if if we are manufacturing a particular machine part in india and so that cost to us for example 56 rupees a machine part but if we are importing it, the same material from Australia, that will going to cost us 92 rupees. So how we will going to, you know, split up the price of the same material code that will go, we'll going to learn in this particular scenario of split valuation that is on Monday. Okay, friends. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much everyone for your time. And uh, I would like to request everyone to please go through the uh 
RTP process, the returnable transport packaging scenario, and the second, the stock transport order for two cases, the intercompany, that is plants are belonging to two different company codes, and intra-company, the plants are belonging to same company code, okay? So I have a document for this uh, uh, stock transport order, and we'll share this uh, in a couple of minutes uh, on WhatsApp, okay? And we'll share this document as well, the one which we have, you know, discussed with these different scenarios. Good then? Yep. Okay. Okay, fine. Yep. Yeah. Bye for now. And we'll see you on Monday, uh, on Friday, on Friday. Yep.